In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the algorithms you can choose in the maze generator. Now, as you can see here, we have eight different algorithms. Now, what does an algorithm do? Well, the algorithm, basically, it finds the pathway from your entry point in the maze to your exit point. Now, depending on the algorithm you choose, it does this in different ways. Now, what I would recommend you do is read into each one on Google because they're quite complicated, something to explain. Uh, so, for example, you type in hunt and kill algorithm for mazes into Google and you can read about it. But what we can do in here, and I can show you a little bit of the difference, is if we go down the bottom here and we click analyze dead ends here. And then here we can choose our rows and columns. So if we choose 15 and 15, as if we're creating a 15 by 15 uh, maze, here it will show you on average the amount of dead ends that are created by each algorithm. So, uh, so a dead end, as you probably already know, is if you follow a path down, you get to a dead end and you have to come back to find the solution. So as you can see here, hunt and kill has the lowest amount of dead ends, all the way up to prims, which has the highest amount of dead ends. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean a more complicated maze. So again, what I would recommend you do is try each algorithm, read into them to find which one suits you best. Now, up the top here as well, we do have an option to delete dead ends. So, for example, um, you know, uh, you want to remove some of the, dead, the uh, dead ends, you can do so here. Um, why you might like to do that is because, for example, if you're creating a maze that has obstacles in, or you want a maze that has multiple solutions to, you can delete some of the dead ends, which then means there are more pathways to get to the end point. Typically though, for most maze generation, um, most maze generation, you'd want to leave this on zero. That way you guarantee getting a unique result. I hope this quick video helps. Thanks for watching.